Hi guys, this is Vasu101 once again and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to boot your laptop or desktop from the Chrome OS bootable, bootable USB stick that you have. Okay, so right now in my case I have an 8GB Sony USB stick that, I, that I'm going to be using as a Chrome OS boot disk. You know, I want that Chrome OS image on this. So the first step is booting your computer by pressing the power button. And now you want to enter into your BIOS. In my case, the F2 key will take me to the BIOS, but it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Now, when you are inside of your BIOS, you need to get into the boot configuration and boot priority settings. Make sure this external device boot or uh, USB device boot, you know, these things varies manufacturer to manufacturer. So, uh, it, you know, you need to go. Uh, I advise you to Google search for your model that what thing represents a bootable pen drive in your BIOS. Okay, in my case, external boot device represents this uh, things like this bootable uh, USB, the Chrome OS disk that I've created. So make sure it's not disabled. So I'm going to enable this in my case. Okay, so now it's enabled, and now you want that USB. Uh, device or external device thing or anything like, like that to be on top of your boot priority you know what your boot priority is it tells the computer that where to search for to boot okay so right now the boot priority is first thing is external device so first of all if there is any USB device any portable hard drive plugged into this laptop this laptop will search for anything bootable onto those device and devices and it will boot and if it founds nothing bootable on those devices then it will move on and search into the internal hard drive and boot on to the operating system that I have on my internal hard disk okay so now when you have done making these changes you know you want to save the changes and hit the shutdown button okay so now what you want to do is you want to plug in your USB drive into the slot okay there it goes and hit the power button and now it will automatically take you to Chrome OS okay So now you can see there, our laptop is showing Chromium and it will take a while to boot because it's booting for the first time on Chrome OS, okay. So and it will also prompt me to set up, make sure you have a Gmail account because that's what you really need to set up Chrome OS, okay. So let it boot, okay so here it come, comes, let's get started. So I'm going to pause this video and complete the setup. So I've completed my setup and as you can see it says welcome to your Chromebook and now I can get started using the Chrome OS. And let me tell you one more thing, if you live outside US then it will disturb the time settings of your PC, you know. Right now uh, I live in India and time is around 11 am in the morning and it says 9.47, you know, so it disturbs the time settings if you live outside the US but you don't need to worry about that because once you get back onto windows and connect to the internet your windows will automatically uh, synchronize, synchronize your time information from time.microsoft.com okay uh, but make sure you put your correct inform uh, your correct locational information into windows because if you put something incorrect it will synchronize incorrect time so if you live in India you you need to put you need to tell Windows that you need that you live in India, and um, so if you do that, then Windows will synchronize the correct time. Okay, but if you have um, done something else, then it will it won't synchronize the correct time. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how you can turn off your Chromebook now. What you want to do is you want to click on this tool icon and select this sign out option that you have here okay i'm recording this from from a mobile phone so the quality is not that great and now 
once you have signed out of your gmail account you see this shutdown option down there there in the screen and you want to hit this and the pc will turn off okay so now it's completely turned off and to get back onto windows it's really simple you remove your usb drive power on the pc and now it will boot into windows but I'll shut it, uh, shut it down after reversing my BIOS settings. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, and I'll see you later next time.